hello all uh, in this video we will see how to parse a complex log file using java transformation and uh, first of all we will find out the need of using java transformation to parse the source, source file so this is our example of uh, source file so in this case uh, the part which is inside the opening bracket and closing bracket uh, is the intended intended data so sms is our target column and the value for sms is l02 same as svc our target column and uh, h a m r a n i is our target value so likewise the value before the colon is our uh, or the text before the column is our target column and text after the colon is our target value so uh, we can import uh, this particular log file at informatica level as a source qualifier but uh, to extract this particular data we will have to write uh, very complex logic at informatica level whereas, uh, where, whereas if we write that particular logic to extract this value at java level it will be very easy so that's the reason what we will do is we will write one java program which will parse or extract these intended values and uh, simply pass these values to Informatica using Java transformation. So to doing that, for doing that, uh, we have already written one Java program which will parse these intended values which are after the colon. So the Java program is like this. First of all, every record or every line we are splitting with space. So let's say uh, this is the first first element of the array after the splitting with the colon. This is the second element of the array. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. This is the fifth, fifth one. And in Java, as array element starts with zero, so this is zero, one, two, three, and this is the SMSC will be the fourth one. So the fourth array will contain starting bracket to closing bracket and after that we are again splitting that with the colon so again this record will get splitted into two elements one is the smsc and the uh, second will be the r02 so over here we will get r02 and the closing bracket so even we are only interested in r02 value so again we are replacing this colon with null value so this logic applies to all the dead dead columns so similarly we have written or we have fetched all the value all the uh, interested values so we have ready with our uh, java program what we will do is we will export this java program as a jar file and that particular jar file we will import into java transformation so we will export this java program as a jar file So we will give the jar file name as file parser next finish so we have done with jar file creation we will copy this jar file to informatica level that file parser dot jar over here what we will do is we will create a simple very first thing is we will import the source file and uh, while importing the source file we will read each and every line as a single record 
so delimiter will give nothing so if we use comma over here our file will get splitted into two records see over here field 3 field 2 are coming so instead of doing that we will remove that com comma and we will specify the delimiter as tilde so hopefully that tilde will not be there as a text anywhere in the source file so, so there is now only one field so each record will get considered as a single column in the source file this length to find file which we have copied that jar file will sit over here first we will now we will import that jar file to java transformation import the package case name parse file and file parse is the class name import object hai is having tons variables as these many so what we'll do is we'll create respective ports for all these instance variable variables of particular class will qualify those instance variables with, class, with the object name which we have created. The only thing remaining is we have to call method with object which we have created and to method we have to give row as an input so the method is which is expecting string as an input we'll 
create the port smc svc act change the data type to and created location so input file path is and we have to specify even the java class path so that will be in the proper way so 
have done with mapping and workflow creation we'll run this we'll do translate and reload at target level in case there are any existing records so those, those old records will get translated and only new records will get added so we'll run this mapping and we will see So if you see session source qualifier has read 302 rows and same number of rows got inserted at target level. We'll just verify whether rows really got inserted at target level or not. Yes, the rows got inserted at target level if you can see the values got populated over here. So this is how we can use java transformation to parse complex file a uh, complex uh, file structure thanks for watching this video